Time for Tech Off the Shelf. I'm Tom Merritt downstairs today because uh, my buddy Brian Brushwood is here and I've got it set up for something he's doing and I was too lazy to move it all back upstairs. Mattel Electronics Auto Race. Got this thing in, uh, I don't know, I want to say 84, somewhere early to mid 80s. Uh, not as popular as basketball or football or basketball, but I always loved this thing because it was very simple. You start it up, you have your speeds and you move your car around. Uh, I've got a 9-volt battery in there. Let's see if this thing will will go. It's going. Come on. Come on. Oh, maybe I got Oh yeah, got to have it in first gear to start. I'm going to I'm going to try to play it backwards. But you can see when something comes at you, you move forward if you don't hit it. That's basically what you're trying to do is not hit things. And what I loved about that when I was a kid is uh, I'm going to move it down to the lower I would pretend it was other games. I could say it was like Space Invaders or I'm flying through an asteroid belt. Because once you get to the top, you just go back to the bottom and you lap it again. So it allowed for imagination, kids, as well as... Oh, man, I got to turn that off. You can't play this thing backwards. That's the other thing. Also, it's really hard to turn off. Uh, but yeah, that is Mattel Electronics Auto Race, literally off the shelf over there. I'll talk to you next week. Bye.